Hello guys, welcome to our channel once again. Today we are going to chat about an alert mechanism which you can set up in your Azure Data Factory pipeline. And yes, we are not talking about the monitoring mechanism which you get with along with the Microsoft Azure where you can actually configure your pipeline failure alert mechanism or based on some other metrics also you can set it. But here we are talking about something which you can set up within your pipeline, a conditional based alert mechanism. Suppose something happens in your activity and you want to get notified. Uh, one, one scenario you can think of is you are copying data from your source to destination and you are expecting few million records but it has become empty and you, your copy activity is successful. There is no failure in the pipeline. However, you did not actually get the data. Now, how you will get to know? You will get to know once somebody complains, your user complains about data not being there. However, how you can handle this kind of scenario if you had an alert mechanism set up in your azure pipeline if you're not getting any record from the source can you get notified yes will that help yes so let's see how we can configure that in azure data factory we are going to use logic app with for this because data factory itself cannot send any email we are going to first we'll configure our logic app this is a very simple logic, logic app, for logic logic app is to this one. logic app it can act upon that so let's see more quickly what we have here. What we are expecting here is a post HTTP and it will have a certain schema of JSON. We have already listed uh, error ID, error message and pipeline name. This is the simplest JSON schema which we have created for this demo purpose. If you want to get more details from your data factory, you can configure that. This is a schema we are expecting here. Now once you have received a HTTP request, what you have to do is you have to pass this JSON so that we can get each node value for your usage. So this is a pass JSON. We are passing body as a content, and again we are providing the schema what we are expecting. The third activity is our send email. Now here we are going to configure which user is supposed to get the email notification. Now here what are the things which is available to us is based on your schema whatever you have sent. I have sent error message, pipeline name, and error ID. So these three in details I am going to embed in my email okay. now we'll see how we can uh, configure and how we can use this in our mind pipeline. we are in azure data factory let's say it's going to be a simple pipeline what i have is a set variable here i'm going to set the flag so this is something which you can do based on your if you want criteria. to get email on certain criteria and you don't want to you want to disable that feature for some other criteria you can do that based on that now i have a simple copy activity here now i'm not going to the details of copy activity but for this demo purpose, I have just configured a simple table, a SQL table from source to sync. And actually in the sync, what I have done is I am truncating the same table so that it does not get any single record. Now I have an if activity. This if activity, what I am saying here is, if my output, if my copy output rows copy is zero, then I want to get alert. Right? Now we will go inside if activity. And this is your web activity which we are going to use for calling logic app now how you are going to configure your logic app is you just click on this you see setting now this is a url which is going to get created in your logic app and as soon as you save your logic app it creates a url that url you have to use here you will choose a method as post and don't forget to add header as content type application slash json and this is a body which we are going to send now if you notice this is the same schema which we had in logic app you have error message error id this is right now hard coded for demo purpose but you can make it dynamic now pipeline name now pipeline name also is here hard coded but you can actually use this variable the system variables and you can pass on more some more details also like pipeline run id trigger id which pipeline trigger has triggered this so those kinds of details you can use I'll cancel it. Um, anything, nothing else. Now, as soon as run this, I, I'll show you how it runs and how the email we are getting. Now, my my pipeline has completed successfully. It has sent into my email. email. I'll show you what code I have received. So, this is a template which we used. Uh, we said IDF message, and this is a message which we passed from Azure Data Fact pipeline name and some error code so this is something which you can build it based on your requirement though it's a very simple thing but it is going to be very very useful for you to monitor your each and every pipeline thank you thanks for watching and if you like our video please 
सब्सक्राइब